Hi guys doing and welcome to another Arc Garage video. If you want to see more Alpha Romero related content, make sure to hit like, share and subscribe. In today's video we're gonna check out everything that's broken on my latest project, the Alfa Romero 166 uh, 2 liter turbo. I'm gonna start uh, with the exterior. The first issue that I have is with the uh, side skirts. Uh, as you can see right here they popped out of place due to the improper jacking uh, uh, some of the clips have broken off so I'm gonna have to take that apart and uh, see uh, what's going on if we check out the rest of the bodywork it's in pretty good shape considering that this is a 20 year old car however there is uh, one big thing on the hood but uh, honestly I'm not too worried about it right now as with uh, any other Alfa Romeo of this age, the front and back badges are faded, so that's gonna need replacing as well. Uh, the rest uh, of the exterior is in pretty good shape. The uh, headlights as well as the fog lamps are uh, good, so uh, uh, nothing else is uh, going to need any work. Alright, uh, I got the car on the lift, so let's check it out underneath. The first issue I have is with this rear muffler. As you can see, it's uh, badly corroded, but I had uh, in plan to put the aftermarket one, so that's not a big deal. If we uh, continue on, uh, you can see that, again, for the age of this car, this one looks in very good condition. Uh, we got some uh, new uh, shocks in the rear as well as the stabilizers. The uh, main thing that pleasantly surprised me about this car is the lack of the corrosion. If we check out the original exhaust system, besides the rear muffler, everything looks uh, great. There is only surface rust. The uh, floor pans are also in excellent conditions. These brake lines uh, look as good as new. Uh, the other side is uh, also in uh, very good condition there is no damage or rust the fuel lines uh, look intact uh, so uh, everything looks great now I work on a lot of newer cars and a bunch of them come here uh, rusted out so uh, considering that this is a 20 year old car it's uh, pretty surprising the uh, main thing uh, and the probably the biggest expense is going to be the reparation of the turbo. You can see that these uh, turbo hoses are all oiled up which means that uh, one of the uh, bearings is uh, leaking oil. Uh, another thing is uh, this uh, oil line which goes to the oil cooler. Also, uh, It also leaks some oil so that's going to need replacing as well. And... Uh, we also got one more issue and that is the uh, power steering uh, line. You can see that it's leaking oil and uh, I'm gonna have to replace uh, that. Now uh, there are a few other cheaper things that I will need to replace and uh, one of them is the uh, steering rack uh, boot. Uh, this one on the left side has uh, deteriorated now the one on the right side is in much better condition but since they are cheap uh, I'm going to replace them both anyway. I'm uh, also going to replace the CV joint boots uh, this one on the left side is leaking a bit of grease uh, so I'm gonna have to address that before uh, they cause any damage to the CV joints themselves. Uh, the one on the right side is uh, not cracked but it's uh, distorted so uh, that's why I'm going to replace uh, that one as well. So uh, that's pretty much it underneath. The one other thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to restore uh, these uh, Brembo brakes. Under the hood, the one thing that requires the immediate attention is this uh, turbo hose. Uh, you can see that it's all taped up at the moment. The uh, first issue that I'm going to tackle on this car is the low clutch separation. Now, uh, as you can see right here, the main clutch cylinder is actually leaking a little bit of oil. So uh, that's going to need replacing. The, uh, that job is going to be pretty tricky to do due to the lack of space. Now, the bad thing is that I also inspected the clutch cylinder on the gearbox. It's in poor condition, so I'm going to have to replace it as well. 
uh, we're uh, not done yet. The uh, rear uh, right window needs to be checked out since uh, it won't go up. The uh, rear left window uh, motor loses uh, connection, so uh, I'm going to have to uh, take the door panel apart and see what's going on. Uh, one of the probably most annoying things that I'll have to address are these uh, interior trim panels. They are all covered in that rubberized paint which I'll have to remove and uh, repaint. Uh, they did the same thing on the center console. Uh, I don't know why they did that but at the moment uh, this uh, looks terrible. The uh, steering wheel leather uh, is in kind of poor condition so uh, I'm going to be restoring the uh, steering wheel. Uh, we're actually going to be uh, scrubbing down this leather and repainting it. It's, uh, it has proven itself as a great solution uh, so I'm going to repeat it again. So uh, there you go, that's a pretty long uh, to-do list uh, on this Alfa Romeo 166 which is going to require a bit of money and a lot of patience and effort. However, uh, we are pretty devoted and we're going to tackle these uh, issues one by one. So uh, make sure uh, you subscribe to the channel so uh, you can follow up on our progress. Uh, that would be all for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button and support our channel by subscribing and by sharing our content with the rest of our festivities.